Greetings and welcome back to Animal Crossing. I am feeling like a princess today after getting our five star rating in our last episode. I'm really thrilled about this. So um, I was walking around the island and I felt something so good. Um, but first we're going to start off with what we need to start off with. Um, so we built a bridge yesterday and I want to build an incline today. Um, so we're going to talk to Tom Nook about this. And I believe, I think the other incline we have is brick and I think I kind of want to keep that theme. Uh, we have brickwork going along the whole place. So I was told in the comments, and I thank you very much for this comment, um, that if you don't pay for your bridge, so we had that bridge mistake going on, um, if you don't pay for it and come back to Tom Nook, you can cancel the order. Um, so I want to try that one day. I don't know if I'll do that right now, but uh, I want to get a couple of ramps and a couple more things going on so that we don't um, so we don't lose our five star rating. Uh, I heard from someone in Discord that they had two villagers move out yesterday and they lost their five stars. It went down to four. So we we definitely need to keep up the, the furniture spam and all that. And it's like, oh my God, please. Um, anyway, let's make an incline. Yes, please. And the please is happening. Oh, these are nice. I actually like these 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 ramps like that. The staircases look great. I kind of wonder if I should do a staircase there. So, let's see. This is going up to Annalisa's home. And we know that she's into sort of Asian themed decorations. It's quite pretty. Should we go with the log staircase? Hmm. I'm kind of like, I want to have each area as its own sort of little encapsulated area um, and unique and, and nice. Uh, I don't want everything to be exactly the same. I don't really like care for the steel ones. Let's see, the log one is kind of cool though. And the log goes in with the rest of the, um, you know, the, the, the pine trees theme and stuff. Hmm. I might even change that path there to be not brick. Hmm. Now I'm confused. <laughs> what should I do here? We could go log. Oh no, this is such a hard decision. I didn't anticipate making this like really difficult for myself. Oh geez. Okay, I think I've decided. Um, I actually paused the recording so I could think about this for quite some time. Um, the log series staircase is great. I like the idea of seeing the steps going up, but I don't really like the under um, the under areas of it. It's a little bit too sparse um, in comparison with something like the natural ramp, which is I almost thought about doing this one as well because it has a very flat sided face. Uh, and remember, we're having flowers on that front face of this thing. So um, I think that I'm actually going to go with the stone staircase. Uh, and the reason why is that I think that I'll use the log staircase on the left side where we have that pond and the little bath and the crazy cult of the green and white teddy bears. <laughs> I'll put those over there. Um, but for this place, I think we'll have a stone staircase and I want the path um, to Annalisa's house to be in stone as well. I think we're gonna, we wanna move that entire uh, section of flowers today. So we're gonna use this one. A stone staircase and you want to proceed with construction of this incline yes please oh yeah we wanna mm-hmm he looks very happy about this okay we'll do the incline marker kits and I completely forgot how much it costs but we're gonna get um I think we'll just have like 200,000 bells hey nook stop how you doing okay let's go ABD here and let us go ahead and pay off our loan payment. I just want to pay the whole full amount and be blessed and happy and yay. And we have no more money. <laughs> I discovered I'm actually going to have to do turnips next week. I was going to like, nah, don't bother with it. But um, I don't have the achievement for the, the last turnip thing. I'm just under 10 million sold in turnips. So I'm going to do play them stock market next week again. Okay, so let's go with... Um, Alrighty, Nook Miles. No, no, no. ABD again. Yes, please. Okay, withdrawal. Let's get 170,000. There we go. Okay, good. Alright, so we want to go and go and look at stuff. And on the way, 
I want to just look at some of the things. I'm going to take you on the route that I was walking around my island so that you can witness the surprise that I did as well. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Uh, okay, so we have, um, yeah, we got a pink mum today. That's really nice. And over here we had some breeding going on. This is a hilarious. Look at this. That this, um, this one is here. Um, I heard from somebody and uh, they were saying that we don't know a lot about flower breeding, but they did say that a flower can breed with any in the eight squares around that particular flower. Uh, so if they're touching on the bottom side or the corner side or whatever, uh, they can breed. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate that uh, bit of information. So I've put a couple of campfires on the beaches because I feel like there's a, they're a natural decoration. This egg stuff has got to go, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Yes. I haven't done the daily stuff at all yet today, but we'll kind of like figure stuff out as we go. I kind of want to focus on our projects for the video. Oh, what is that gigantic? You know what? That's probably a sea bass. I'm not going to risk it. I have my three ore fish that I need. Um, oh, I keep, I shouldn't do this. This is like, you know, compulsive picking of shells off the beach, but I wanted to keep my inventory relatively clear here. So this is what I'm thinking is like, I could have one of those uh, wooden staircases coming down this way from here because this is a route that I actually go. I go to the end of this beach and then I come up here. Um, one of the things that I want to do in my island is create pathway. Oh, geez. No. Oh, no. It escaped. Um, create a pathway and ramps and inclines and bridges of the routes that I travel to go around my island daily. Uh, so that's one of the things I'm working on right now. Okay, so here is where we plan to put our thing. What we could do is we could change this brick walk. We could change this entire brick walk here into stone. That's going to be a pain in the socks, but we can do it. Oh, look at this. Hello stuff. Okay, that's looking great. This bridge is looking pretty darn, darn good. I like this. This is great. Okay, so let's see. Um, we got some nice... Uh, things. Oh my god, did I just miss it? I think I just missed it. I missed the surprise. No! <laughs> I bet you saw it. Did you see it? Did you see it? I was so focused. No, maybe we didn't see it. I came down here to look at this rock. And look what I found. <laughs> oh, my precious. My precious. Hello. Hi. Yay. Delight. Joy. Oh, we got a lily of the valley. First thing. I actually don't want to move it because I love the placement here, but it's in a very inconvenient spot. Here, Lily of the Valley, we are encouraging you to grow somewhere else. <laughs> Where can I get that? But look how beautiful it is. Is this not the sweetest, most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I love Lily of the Valley plants, by the way. I think they're extremely beautiful. Look at this, I'm threatening it with a shovel now. Um, but I love them in real life. They smell incredible. Um, anyway, they're one of my mom's favorite flowers as well. So yeah, she grew up in uh, in Siberia, like actual Siberia. And um, she would go and pick these every now and again. They were like very few and far between. But um, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna wait, hold on. I don't wanna destroy it yet. It's not destroying it, it would just be moving it. All right, so anyway, here is our pathway to um, Annalisa's house. Let's see if we can organize this. Build the incline here. No. Okay, apparently not there. Can we walk here? Does that make you happier, thingy majingy? Build. Hello. I don't see an even stretch of cliffs. Okay, do we need to walk forward one step? Hello. Oh, it will actually might work. Um, let's imagine this. And if we change the pathway to stone, I think this is going to look pretty good. Do we like this? Hmm. Do I like the stone here? I think, I think if we add more of the pine trees, this is going to look pretty good. I think it's going to look pretty good. One thing I did overestimate the size of the thing. It looks like it's one tile shorter because it actually grips that last um, piece of this the cliff for itself. Um, do we like this? I'm kind of leaning toward brick, to be perfectly honest. But you know what? We're going to change the whole thing around. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, good. Now, I have to say, I didn't, I don't know if I said it last time, but this guy is creepy. Look at this, he has like holes for eyes, it's horrible. Sorry, dude, but you are just like, you creep me out, man. Um, one thing I want to try, I want to see about Tom Nook if you can actually cancel this operation. If we cancel it for today, we just pick it up tomorrow. Apparently that's a thing, is if you actually cancel it, the construction marker gets deleted the next day. Uh, we'll try to get out of the cancel sequence, but let's see how that happens. Uh, but at least we know that it's one tile- oh god, this I have to move those things. I have to move the fashions! Help! Yeah! Uh, I don't know if I can. Can I move these guys? Hello? Yes, I can. I want to actually be able to get out of there. I think I moved them to the side so you could see what was in the window. But I want to be able to walk through that because I've tried to do that a couple of times. Anyway, we're just testing functionality of the game. I really enjoy uh, hearing about these tips from, from you guys. It's very um, interesting to me. Hey, Tom. My goodness, you've done it. You've paid off your home renovation loan in full again. As of this moment, you're debt free and set for life in an amazing spacious island home. Yes, yes. I know you're just waiting for me to offer you another expansion, but we've reached the end of that. But I have something else to offer you. For free, of course. Really? <laughs> Nook Inc. guarantees our work for life, and as a small token of our appreciation, we're proud to offer you a lifetime of free exterior renovations. Oh, that's nice. Limit one per day. Terms and conditions apply. Yes, yes, I'm legally required to say that. I hope Nook Inc. can still be of service for you for years to come. And once again, congratulations. You know what, I would love if you could offer me a storage shed outside Tom Nook so that I don't actually have to go in, so I can just craft things outside. Okay, so let us see. Let's talk infrastructure. Let's chat. There are a number of things we can discuss about bridges. Uh-huh. We're collecting funds to build our stone staircase. As such, I'm not discussing any other changes but what's on your mind. Oh! Okay, so here's the option. Let's not build it. Okay. Okay, that's really good to know. I think I tried this before, um, and it, with a house or something, and it just didn't, he didn't offer me a choice to change. Uh, or no, I might, it might have been with the museum. I was like, no, don't go there. And he's like, no, no, can't discuss anything. This is not a thing. Um, but I guess it's different for those. That's really good to know. Thank you very much for that tip. Um, okay, so about my home. Let's look at these options for customization. This is exciting. I want to customize. Let us look. Place your order today. Oh, you know what else I forgot to buy? Oh, no. I forgot to buy more of those shelving things for our special room upstairs. Um, it'll be ready. Sure. Okay, let's see what you've got, Tom. Uh, so we look, we've seen roofs. We've seen... We have not seen the siding yet. Oh, that's nice. So we can go all kinds of ways with this here. Brown chalet. This is regular common exterior. I kind of like my house, to be perfectly honest. I think it's really cute. Then we have cobblestones. Okay. Those are quite cool. Stucco for a more modern look. <gasps> are those Lily of the Valley lamps? Hello. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so pretty. I think I have this right now. I don't know what I have. You know, it's so funny because I like I can't even remember what I have. But uh, yeah, and then we have common, and then the chalet moves the um, the beams around a tiny bit, and then cobblestone. They have some really interesting sidings here. They have different doors as well. Um, ones without windows. I like the windows on. Oh, that's quite pretty. Iron grill door. I might change my door, actually. Yellow simple door. Basic door. Oh my god, this is interesting. Lattice work. Oh, wow, they have quite a few doors. Imperial door. Urgh. Wow, that's exciting. Hold on. Hold on here. We might have to go with something like that. So we have this house right now. Should we change our house? Oh my god. What am I contemplating? No. Help. What if we go black ish? Now I'm like, I, I actually didn't um, consider this a possibility because I'm like, I love my house. I'm not changing my house for anything. And now I'm like, pretty door, let's change. <laughs> Jeez. 
Okay, we have other doors as well, the imperial doors. We could go with just a black door. I like the red door because, you know, red is a very big color in uh, in Chinese culture and it's uh, pretty cool. So we have these like prison doors and then we have a fancy door. Hello. Uh, we need to check on our new neighbor, by the way. Okay, so I got Barbara to move in. I got her to move in. It was a pain in the socks. Um, this is actually, that's a kind of a cool door. It's very like, um, okay, so this is the, is this what I have? Or do I have, I think I have windowed doors. I think I have a windowed door. Do we want to get a thing? All right, I'm not going to spend any more time on this. We can also move the mailbox now and choose a different kind of mailbox if we want. I kind of like my crappy one, but we might move up, move, move on up to get a wooden mailbox. Anyway, I'll decide that later. I can't uh, choose right now. I'm just like overwhelmed with options, I think. Okay, so let's get out of here. Stop talking to Tom. Let's go. Um, all right, let's check the boxes. Is there anything good in here? Nothing? There's nothing new in there. Okay, that's weird because usually there's something new every day. But maybe I, I took the thing from last time. It, it was an item, I believe. I can't remember what it was, though. But uh, anyway, so the story of Barbara. Right. I tried to spam her request. Oh, and there's the Sahara. Uh, we'll just buy some rugs from her while we uh, talk about Barbara here. Um, anyway, Barbara just was refusing completely to move in. So I, what I had to do is I restarted the game and it seemed to reset that option where she was willing to, um, to move in. Uh, but I had to play a game and I'm like, oh my God, I had to spam her with chat until we got that game going on. Okay, come on, Sahara. Stop, stop so much conversation, please. Jeez, these people are chatty. Um... And the games were what we saw. And one of them has the four options, guess the suit that you, in, and then if you guess correctly, she'd move in. That's a one in four chance of winning, which is not great. I didn't win either of those. Finally, maybe she wanted to actually move in and uh, she gave me a one in two chance, guess the color of the card instead of the suit. So it was a 50-50 chance. I ended up getting it, which was great. And, um, yeah, that was pretty exciting. Okay, let's go large rug. Yes. Uh, so, but yeah, she was really, like, not... I, it was weird. It was really weird. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for exchange tickets. And what shall we get? I think I want a, a wallpaper. I sure do. All right, we'll look at these, these things later. Uh, let's get wallpaper. Thank you very much, Sahara. Okay. I've made some changes to our little house uh, on the inside there. Decorating with this will make you restless for more mystery. <laughs> May the tickets tempt... I love the way she talks. It's hilarious. A heavy curtain wall. Ooh, that sounds great. We got <gasps> Ooh, blue Persian rug. That sounds really good. Oh my god, I'm hoping that's what I want it to be. And then we got a navy bath mat. Thank you very much, Sahara. Um, I re reorganized my corral here. Oh, and we need to do some magic here real quick. Ta-da! Through the magic of OBS editing on the fly, I have paused my thing and managed to put my little free sign on here. Um, if you want this little free sign, get ready to pause the video right now. And here is the QR code if you want to scan that in. Um, I just made a very simple little sign to... Oh, hello, butterfly. Hi. Okay, we should not get distracted, though. Um, but anyway, yeah, I have so many things that I just want to give them away for free. Got a ton of stuff. If you come over to my island, feel free to check out anything in the corral and just take whatever you want. Um, okay, I spent a little bit of time designing that, so I'm like, what am I doing now? Hmm. Uh, I think we need to pay for our bridge. Uh, oh, I missed that thing. No. Uh, the wind here today is absolutely crazy. This is very Wyoming wind, uh, just so you are aware. Wait, let's see. Put that away, please. Can we... Really? Oh, I thought it was six bells. Never mind. It's fine. Um, yeah. So we need to go over there. Let me... Let's see. I have a few items in my inventory at the... Oh, oops. I thought there was a weed. I was going to pick it up. We do have a quest to sell some items. 
I believe. Where is that balloon? Okay, it's it's not one that I want to bother with at the moment. So I want to just clear out our inventory real quick, and then we're going to go right back up into uh, the highlands and uh, pay for this thing. I found these cacti today. Those are really, really cute. I gave one to Annalisa. Um... And also a hamster. She now has a hamster and a set of things, which is very nice. Okay, let's see. We're going to send all of this stuff to you guys. Um, yeah, sure. I think I'm going to have to actually go home and drop off those rugs and stuff because I feel like I have way too much stuff in my inventory. Okay, we have... Uh, gotten the Nook quest done. I'm very happy about this when we can get those because the miles are needed. I just, by the way, it looks like I have a billion miles, but that's only because I just did all of my achievement miles this morning where I got like, you know, a thousand for this and three thousand for another thing and something else for another thing. So that's why it looks like I have a ton, but I am very careful about using those miles, uh, you know, for things like um, the trips and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I want to get to the mail today, too. I'm really excited to see what's uh, going on with the mail. Okay, so we have... Uh, let's go... Okay, let's go upstairs. I'll show you what's going on upstairs. I changed the wallpaper upstairs, but I might change it back. I kind of actually really like these cherry blossom trees. This is supposed to be an animated wallpaper. Hello. Where's the animation? Oh, there it is. Okay, now we can see it. I kind of like this a lot, but I might change it because... Um, we now have a basement and it would be kind of cool and very evocative to have the stars in the upper room as in the sky and then in the lower room we could have trees or something like that more earthy stuff uh, anyway let's go ahead and sell these guys or put these in storage and I'm not going to put I'm not going to pick up any more stuff no not allowed um, these items actually go in here the um, let's see I want to put in I forgot to buy more of these desks. I really want to buy some of those. So I'm going to try to remember to get those tonight. Uh, or, well, after the recording, perhaps. Um, I want to display these really adorable things, like the camper. I love this little guy. Okay, turn yourself around so you look cute over there. Oh my god, that's so cute. That, that came in the mail from somebody. I can't remember who I really apologize for not remembering, but it's just, I, yeah, I love these these little items here. Okay, and let's see, what else we got here? Bottled ship, let's place that as well. I was planning to have all these desks here, so I was like, okay. Does anybody have any different colors of this bottled ship? I kind of would rather have not green sails and not green boat. It looks a bit strange. Um, and then let's put our mama bear. All right, mama bear, mama bear. I might have a whole bear room. I used to collect teddy bears IRL, um, and I have several, and I just love collecting bears. I left the other bear and the doll in the back room still with the bed and stuff. I might keep that bedroom. So, okay, so we've got this going. Let's look at these rugs for a moment. I... Oh, no! No, that was bad. That was bad times. Okay, let's put that back. That's got to go back. That's important to have. This is crucial to this room. Like The room doesn't exist unless we have a train set in it. Okay, good. Now then, back to business here. We have a yellow rose. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. Let's just put that in storage for now. That's probably going to be one going in the free pile very shortly. Okay, I might check on Sahara tickets as well. Let's see this simple medium purple bath mat. Hey, that's actually not half bad. It doesn't look like a bath mat. Bath mats to me are like two tiles long in IRL. But this is this is a really pretty rug. If anybody wants this, needs a lavender rug, just let me know and I will send you one. Because that's quite pretty. I'm going to keep that one. Okay, blue Persian rug. Oh, <gasps> I got it. Oh my god, that's pretty. I have a yellow one. But I think it doesn't show off the design as much. If anyone has a red one, could you send it to me, please? I love Persian rugs. Oh, man, this is nice. I don't know if it goes in this room, but I love that rug. We're going to find a room for that rug. Because a really good rug is one that you find a room to put it in. You know, like you build a room around a rug instead of anything else. All right, so what else do we have? Heavy curtain wall. Let's check that out. What is this? Hey! That's actually quite cool. Now this might be the ideal wall if we're going to have a, uh, a room to display clothing. 
I'm still not sure if I'm going to have that or not because I think we might have enough space. She says as a fashion collector. <laughs> yeah, keeping it anyway. Okay, let's um, let's go. I think we can probably, maybe we should put the fossil in storage just to have maximum storage space. Um, so let's put that in storage. And then the starry sky wall, let's put that also in storage. And the money is going to go away as soon as we pay for the bridge. So I think we're pretty good on these items. Also, I found out that one of the achievements is actually to make those golden tools. It's not enough to just unlock them. Once you make them, you get X amount of miles for actually making it. So I might make a golden slingshot. So this is our basement room. We just got this today. Um, I think I'm going to spend quite a lot of time designing these rooms, like figuring out what I want. I saw someone um, on the internet have a really awesome music room where they had a vibraphone and they had a microphone and um, like a uh, drum set and turntable. It was really quite cool. So I might have one of those kinds of rooms. Otherwise, I'm kind of stuck on like, what the heck do I do? One of my favorite, this is like, well, I love my main room because it's very, I feel like it's very Norwegian, very simple, except for the, I don't know, the cooking thing in the center. But it's very like Norwegian inspired anyway with the stuff. This room I love. Uh, it might have too many mobiles. <laughs> and maybe I'll take these clothes off the, the wall here. But I love this room because it's functional. It is very, I love craft um, and I can operate every one of these machines in real life. Um, and I love that it has like just, just cool stuff in there. We got a spinning wheel. I love spinning. We got the loom, which is just amazing beyond words. We've got the old sewing machine, the new sewing machine, sewing box. This is a, cr a great room. I feel like this is a really great room. So anyway, that's that room. But yeah, I'm kind of like thinking of building a room around the stuff that I get. So we have the train room upstairs. Um, the back room here, eh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. I'm thinking of making it a bedroom. I, I love the glowiness of this floor, but I think it might be too much. I really think it's, it's just too intense. So we might make a bedroom here, um, but I don't know what we have available it's right now set up like as a kid room kind of with the tree standees. I think they're cute. But if I could find like a canopy double bed or something, that would be really cool. So we got to just look for this stuff and, and see what we find. But I have a feeling that once we upgrade the Nook Brothers shop, we need to be, I think it's 28 days. And I think I just got 20 days of playing or something like this. Um, we'll have more furniture selection and maybe more people will come into the community as well who has these items and we can kind of trade and figure out what we want as well. So, okay, where were we? We were going and making a bridge and maybe readjusting the entire place. So here's the pathing path so far and I'm really liking this. It feels comfortable to walk on. Oh, let's look at these things. Let's, that looks pink there. Nice, nice. Hello. Hello. All the stuff and all the things. Should we check on our tulips? Did we look at the tulips yet? I don't know. Um, we might have. I'm, I'm so excited about the whole thing. We have a lily of the valley just waiting. This is, is something I was thinking about too. Is like putting a shell table and then putting four different things on top of the shell table. It's like really um, making sure that we do not lose the five star rating as we're changing things around. As we're deleting some furniture items as well. Um, I think we've gotten extra points because of um, uh, moving in a new villager for one. Um, and then we also got more points for uh, the extra bridge. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you very much. Okay, close up the hole. There we are. There we go. And then we'll take this one as well. Hello. There we go. Nice. All right, we'll just move that one uh, there. I'm not going to bother with those butterflies. They're cheap ones. So, yeah. I think I need another red thing here to kind of make this a bit longer. I am very happy with how this is turning out. I am really happy with this. This is looking fabulous. Plant. Okay, there we go. Grab this. I think I, I have a quest for a locust, so I'm gonna try to catch that little grasshopper out there. Or a locust. Oh God, that was not the way to catch it. <laughs> I, I did the wrong button, sorry. There we are. Locust, long locust. Yes, there we are. And Nook Miles, thank you very much. Boom. Those are kind of sometimes worth it because they're 200 points instead of 100 or 150. Fruit trees. Oh, come on. It's so funny. I had these so many quests to make trees yesterday. It was like, what? Come on. 
Okay, so I'm thinking a natural break for this area, and this almost makes me wish I had done the uh, the custom flooring here, because um, <laughs> now we have to do it all uh, again. We have to do all of this stuff. So, all right, let's see. Permission. Uh, we could do it in wood. That is also an option. So let's see what we want here. Uh, we were using stone over there, but we don't have to. We could just use... We were, oh, we were using stone because of the, the flowers. That's right. Ah, and we need to dig this up as well. I think we need to make that shorter. So dig this up and kind of move the entire thing over a tiny bit. Okay. Let's see. Excuse me, guy. Hi, how you doing? We need to pay you. Yeah, having a great morning, pal. Yes, we're we're great. 168,000. I could spare a few. Here, let me help you out with this. You know, and one thing that I thought was great is um, sometimes when people are, if they want to trade or something, they say, you know, if you could just make a donation to my incline, that would be great. <laughs> so I think that was kind of a nice thing uh, that people have done. But um, in our Discord, we don't, uh, most people at least, don't ask for any kind of trade. So I, I'm really, that's quite cool, I think. We're just like, hey, you want to come over? Sure, let's come over, you know. It's great. So, yeah, nice. Okay, so we need to replace these guys. I hear a balloon somewhere. No, 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 I'm sorry, guy. I don't want to talk to you now. I apologize for engaging you in conversation. I just want to do that. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, yart. Mm-hmm. I really wish these things would blend together. I really do. Okay, that's the wrong balloon. I'm like, I still need one of those cherry blossom recipes. I need the um, the bonsai. If anyone has a bonsai that would they would be willing to trade, um, I'm I've been farming the balloons, but uh, to be perfectly honest, it is uh, time consuming and it's not that fun. And I got a new one today, but it's I it's one that I had traded for. So we've come to the uh, the realization that um, these are you get the cherry blossom recipes and the bunny ones without repeat uh, if you're farming them yourself so we've been kind of uh, looking at that but I traded for some um, and I'm, I'm now getting a repeat of those ones because I haven't actually naturally got it myself so anyway let's see that is gonna look pretty darn good I think I'm liking this I think I might I'll do the rest off of off, off camera um, and then we'll just progress with what we need to do here now we have um a couple of items here that we want to look at we can oh this is so precious hello i love this little little thing so uh anyway it's like it calls down the bells of heaven um and with that we could actually make a two wide path if we want to all right we got a pink lily that's very nice let's uh pick that up so what I'm thinking about doing uh, with uh, Annalisa's house. Oh, and there's her. I got her a table from the back. I got her a hamster and I got her plants. Oh, isn't that great? Hey, Annalisa, are you happy about this? Hello. Hey, let's chat. <laughs> Earlier, I could swear I was smelling my dad's musica. So I gave him a call, drum drop. Can you teach me how to make musica in the game? I love it. It's so good. Your home is looking great. I was already impressed, but somehow you managed to keep improving on it, Gumdrop. Might have to start calling it Catherine Castle soon. <laughs> That's nice. Oh boy. So my idea here is we need to make some kind of like maybe a winding path that goes this way naturally uh, for Annalisa. I'm not sure if I should use too wide. Too wide is going to look better. But uh, we could put more flowers if it's just one wide. And then I'm thinking about moving all of these lilies over here. Okay, we have a thing here. Let's look at that. Oh, and you know what I want to get to? I want to get to the mail call. I feel like mail is so important because it's really nice when people send me things. I so appreciate that. You have no idea because 
Um, if we were to survive only on what the Nook Brothers give us, like, we would have the most boring houses ever. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Oh, and I got a new recipe today. By the way, if there's anything you want me to craft for you, just uh, send me a note uh, in Discord and I would be happy to do so. I got today, I got a beehive today. This is great. Oh, hello, Araminta. Greetings here. Let me, um, let me assist you with your exit. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it was your own fault. You jumped on the, on the table, cat. <laughs> She's like meowing as I'm picking her up, trying to go a way that she was not kind of permitted to go. Okay, so I have, um, let's see where, where, okay, where are they? Where is the new thing? Ooh, I haven't made that peach umbrella yet. Really? That's so beautiful. Um, okay, beekeeper's hive. Yeah, it's just an item you can place in the world. Costs three wasp nests each. This might be an okay item to spam, by the way. Also, I have this thing, classic library wall. That I haven't made yet. And we have the starry wall. That was another option that I was thinking about doing and I completely forgot once we were at home. Uh, one thing that if you are lacking a wand, these wands are cheap. We've got the tree branch wand, the iron wand, which I got the other day. I'm like, hello, this is a Mario wand. It's a pipe. Um, this one is the expensive one you get from uh, from Celeste. It costs a large star fragment, and those are really hard to find. But the bamboo wand is fairly cheap. There are only three small star fragments, the yellow ones, and then a something. that Like the cherry blossom one is so pretty. I think I might convert to this one. This is a really nice one for myself. But if you need a wand, just let me know and I can craft it for you. Um, I have many of the materials, but I do, if you have the star fragments, that would be amazing because I don't have a lot of star fragments. Anyway, okay, so let's go back from mail call. Oh, the mail is so great. I love the mail. Mail is like my favorite thing and I'm like, it's so funny because I actually save mail for the video. I don't look at it. Um, because, well, once you pick it out of the mailbox, it's not there anymore. <laughs> so it's kind of inconvenient, just slightly. And I'm going to have to figure out what to do with this. I've considered like up here, instead of these fences going really wonky wise, I might put items there like this stone, uh, put a few stones there or something like that to make it prettier instead of those fences. Because the fences look like, I don't know, they were cobbled by, by some crazy person who had no idea about fencing. Okay, mail call, let's do this. I like my I like my construction hat by the way with this dress. It's very nice. <laughs> Who cares about tiaras? Let's get things sorted. Oh, we got stuff from Miz. Okay, let's see. We got something from Luna. Oh, a tapestry. Oh, I want to see what that is. Thank you, Luna. Wow. Okay. No idea what that's gonna be, but that sounds great. Okay, and we have from CJ. Um, we gave him fish yesterday. The, uh, the, should be our, um, what do you call it? The seahorse. So throw away this. Thank you. Uh, Happy Home Academy. Oh, right. We have a gift. Having plants around. Create your own oasis. All right. I'm curious what these oasis plants are going to be. Let's go ahead and look at these items first. We'll look at the tapestry inside, though. I'm really excited about that. Okay. What do we got here? This is our, a cypress plant. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. I think I have those already, but thank you very much. I wish they would send you like something you don't already have. A seahorse model. I want to see the seahorse model. Oh my god, it's tiny. <laughs> I thought maybe it would be kind of more evocative and like have, I don't know, several seahorses or something like make a big display out of it. But apparently it is life size. So if I want something big, I got to go for an oarfish or... I don't know. I, I hear people are catching sharks in the southern hemisphere. Those sound great. Okay, and here is the tapestry. Oh, wait. Can I? Okay, oh, it's an inside item. Wait, I hear. I hear something. Pardon me for for like going after these things. I am like, oh my god! I need, I need those last cherry blossom recipes. Oh, it's not the right one either. It's a bunny day one. All right, back to the mailbox. Here we go. Hello, mailbox. Hold on a second. Did I get something else? Oh my god, I did! Holy fuzzy cats. Okay, so let's see what's from Nook. Okay, uh, resident moved in. Yeah, that's typical. Good, good, good. Go away. Okay, and then we have some from Sky. Yesterday I wore myself out, so I decided to sleep in and spend the whole morning lying around in bed. 
but I still woke up at the usual time today, like I just couldn't wait to wear myself out all over again. Yours in frustration, Sky. <laughs> oh my god. These messages from the villagers are actually quite funny. Okay, let's see what Bard sent me. Oh my good, bury one in a hole. Extra step, okay. Okay, I don't think I understand this. Throw this away. From Bard, okay, hello? What is this? Pitfall seeds. Wow, that sounds interesting. Ah, I should, I could, maybe I should put those around like a money tree and not harvest the money tree or something. Like for guests to fall in there. That sounds interesting. We're going to have to try those out. Thank you very much. That sounds cool. Okay, what else have we got here? We have from Miz. We have two items. Take care of baby bear. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, throw away. Thank you, Miz. And another one. Some sweets for a sweetie. Aw, thank you so much. All right, let me just delete this one. Throw away. Aw, thank you very much, Miz. These are, this is going to be really cool. I, I already know what these are because um, Miz showed them to me from her nook shop. I was like, oh my god, can I have one, please? So she's kind enough to send me some. Okay, so baby bear. Oh, look at this. Baby bear needs to go upstairs with mama bear. Okay, so we'll put baby bear up there. And then we also have... Look at this. A candy machine and it's pink. Hey, guess where that's going? Mm -hmm. I wonder if that has an animation. We've got to check this. We've got to put those things upstairs. All right, so let us see. Sakura has sent us stuff. I have no idea what this is. Thanks for letting me visit. I hope you enjoy. Okay, let's see. Wow. Throw this away. And I also found a, mo <laughs> a mobile for your collection. Oh, no. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, let's go upstairs and um, and see what those items are. We need to see what the tapestry is as well. I'm really excited about that. Thank you, everyone, for all the lovely things. I really appreciate it. This is really cool. It's funny because, in a way, I feel like I'm doing a sort of, like, not, not a public service per se, but it's like, you know, showing people what there is available. Um, cause we can order these things. Once we have them, we can order them and, and give them to each other and stuff like that. So I think that's a cool thing to have and just, oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's a cute tapestry. We can have it in, uh, maybe we'll put this as, as the matching set for the other one downstairs. That's adorable. Thank you very much for that. Uh, okay. We have, let's see, we have... A popcorn machine? Ooh, that's tasty. Okay, firstly, we need a baby bear to sit here with a mama bear. There you go. Baby bear. Baby, baby. Yar. Okay, can we... Here, let's move you back and then turn you to the side so you're looking at mama. Oh, Oh my god, that is so cute. I might pull them forward and then just have, like, decorative stuff behind them on the cabinet thingy majingy Like, this thing. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. But I don't have the cabinet <laughs> and I don't have the decorations. I could put maybe these things. I don't think they have an animation, do they? Like this thing? Does this go? No. These guys don't. Alas. Okay, so we can have a tree behind there or something like that. Uh, let's look at this. Um, we have the popcorn machine. Oh, that's fancy. I like this. I like this better than the color that I have in the park. I might have to... Yeah, we might have to get that going. Wait, does it have an animation? Hold on. Let's get the candy machine out. Oh, it does. Look at this. <laughs> Wait. No. Why? <laughs> That's great. Does the popcorn machine have an animation? I want to see this. I got to have more train sets. By the way, also. We need more. Oh, it does. Look at that. Oh, we may have to have a popcorn machine in this room. Oh, we need one in here. Okay, maybe we'll keep this one in here. Let's see. We'll have to figure this out where to put it, though. Okay, so what else we got here? I want to see what that last thing is from Sakura. Um, oh, the mobile. Yes, let's see if we can hang this up in here. Hang on wall. <laughs> sea creatures. Nice. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed with all the presents. Thank you very much for all of these things. This is so cool. Wow. <laughs> We're going to have to get this room organized. I'm still kind of 
wondering if I should use the um, the starry wall up here. But the pink is really coming together, like with the pink cat post and the pink litter box. <laughs> I never thought I was going to have a pink room, but we might have to have it. We'll see. Anyway, all right, let's go downstairs. I might change the flooring, too. I'm not sure about the brick, but I don't know. It's just interesting. Now, what the heck is this pitfall seed? I want to try this. So you bury them. Oh, whoops. Wrong thing, Imogene. There we go. Hello, dyslexia. Welcome. Okay. I'm going to bury this thing. Bury one. Interesting. Does that count as a tree? <laughs> oh my god. Wait. There's a, is there an achievement for this? Hold on. Hello. Wait. Pity party. Huh. To create, commemorate the creation of your first pit. Don't fall victim to your own handiwork. Wild child troublemaker. Hmm. This sounds cool. What if we... Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, help, help! I'm being repressed! Oh, that's very cool. I like that. <laughs> that's great. I wonder if you can dig it back up. Okay, so here's the thing that you can do. This is this is amusing. I tried this. This was the thing that I've um where 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 can we do this? Let's let's just have an example of this. I actually did that the other day. I was too embarrassed to say them. But I did this. Okay, so let's get uh a shovel. Dig. We'll dig here. Yep. And then we're gonna vault across. Nope. I did this the other day. Oh no, 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 give it back. Hold on, hold on. How did I do this? I managed it. Basically, oh no. Basically vaulting into a hole. And it, it has the same effect. It's quite funny. Yep, there we go. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> It's just so silly. So, yeah. It's a trap for your enemies. Tower defense. See, you know who says this game? We have first person shooter in here. We got tower defense. We got all the things in this game. Oh, yes. All right. We did get a rose here. A, um, one of these special red hybrid roses, I believe. So let's dig that up. <laughs> and then we'll put this over here. I think I need to chop this tree over here. That's gotta go. That's gotta go. Let's get the chopper chopper. Old. Yeah. All right. That's good. I think that's actually good. We need it. We need the tree chopping for our. No Excuse me. No. 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 <laughs> no, girly. Sorry. You misunderstood me. I didn't want you to sit. I wanted you to do 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 work. Yes. Do the work. I'm thinking this might be a three by three kind of grid thing. So let's go ahead and move this one out. Move it up one. Let's move that here. I'm just covering that up just so it doesn't get in the wrong spot here. Okay, so this is the special red. Another special red is gonna go here. We'll have like an X shape. And the X shape is most efficient for the planting. Oh. So I'm thinking I really want to see either blue roses or, oh, you know what we could do? Oh, hold on. If we put the black rose here, this one over there, and then we could put the, um, the lily of the valley between them, that might actually work really well. Then we might get black roses and get the blue roses. Okay, if we put that right here, I'm thinking right here what might be best. I was going to put it like, oh yeah, maybe right in the middle here. But this just gets us red roses um, for over there. So yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that's what we should do. Is just put that lily of the valley right here. And then water the whole thing. Oh no, 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 wait, 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 wait. We need to, this one won't breed today because it's it's not um, fully bloomed yet. All right, it's fine. We'll, we'll figure this out. Let's go across and get that lily of the valley. I love it, it's so pretty. I wish I could just have like a whole, I wonder if you get, I think it's a random spawn. I was actually really like 
oh my god first day of having a five star island and i already have one of these things this is so beautiful i love it just sitting here i might i don't know i might just i i probably won't keep it right now there um but i'll Sorry, Lily. We're going to dig you up. We apologize for the inconvenience, but you're beautiful and we love you. Okay. There we go. Hooray. Just go across on this bridge and then go down. Oh, this is the bad, bad planning area. Yeah. Let's just mate. Oh, no. No. Yep. Pick the flowers. Darn it. Come on. Get down. Get down, girl. There we go. Yay. Yeah, that was a bad place to put a wall. I thought it would be out of the way, but eh. Not quite as out of the way as I wanted. I'm trying to grab every single cherry petal as well so that I can finish making all the items. I have a few, but I don't know how many are necessary, so I should calculate that. All right, so Lily of the Valley, you go here, please. Beautiful thing. And I'm going to grab my golden watering can. I don't have it on my menu here, over here, because... I think that's very expensive <laughs> to try to get stuff going. So let's water these guys. I don't know if it increases the chance of like these to be organized or not. But uh, anyway, let's just use regular watering can for these. Okay. And I don't think it's going to matter to to have this one being sparkly or not. Anyway, but we have it watered with the golden watering can. I don't I wonder something I don't know if anyone has tested this or not but a question for all you um, the uh, you know seasoned gardeners out there if you water something accidentally like if I watered these black roses with the regular watering can can I still water it with the golden one and it counts or do you have to water it first thing with the golden watering can that's what my question of the day is today <laughs> But anyway, the flower fields are becoming extensive, as you have seen. Uh, it's kind of exciting. It's it's really fun, and um, yeah, I'm really really happy about this. It's quite cool. It takes forever to water, though, but I don't mind because I love my flowers. I absolutely adore them, and uh, hopefully, we're gonna get this island up to a real five star and have pretty decorations around and different things. Oh, there's Sky. Hey, Sky. I want to teach you a reaction you might not know, Catherine. Watch this. How are you? Warm enough for you? Please works well as a simple greeting. Try it, airmail. Okay. I feel like it's like the hello reaction. I feel very pleased with myself right now. I, you know, I'm not really keen on the whole greetings. Because it's ding. And pleased sounds exactly the same. No, no, go away. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Sky. I really appreciated your message earlier, Sky. <laughs> so this is... Let's just see. Let me adjust the camera so we can see this properly. So greetings. Ding. And if we go and choose a different form of greetings to say... Pleased? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. It's a little bit friendlier I guess it has the same sound so maybe it's like pleased to meet you okay we'll use that instead of greetings I think uh, and she closes her eyes and smiles cute uh, the greetings is I don't know I don't know which one is better they both seem very similar to me but anyway I think this is probably a good place to stop I would love to keep on playing but I fear if people see like a three hour video time they won't watch it <laughs> so <laughs> I think we'll stop here um, and I want to thank you so very much uh, for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.